What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV for today's video. I've got the full Gymshark Transcendent review for you guys today. I've got two items, the t-shirt and the shorts, both in black and blue. The shorts are in a small and the t-shirt is in a medium. So with that said, let's get on with today's review. So here we are guys, here is the t-shirt on me in black and blue, you can also get it in a grey colour, there's a red colour, lots of different colours that you can check out on the Gymshark website which I will link in the description box below for you guys. But here is the shirt in black and blue on me in a medium, now I have around a 40 inch chest and I'm about 5 foot 7 tall, weighing in at around 175, 177, 78 pounds. So basically what I'm going to be doing in this review for you guys is pretty much comparing this t-shirt to the Seamless range, to the Apollo t-shirt, to the shirts that you guys all know and are very familiar with. But as this is a new t-shirt, I thought I'd just give you guys some sort of comparison in terms of sizing, in terms of fit, everything like that, just in order to help you guys make your purchase. Now let's start off with the material, guys. This shirt is very, very stretchy. That is because there's 90% polyester and 10% elastine in this shirt, which is what gives it that nice hugging feeling and that nice stretchy feel that everybody likes. And also, it's really lightweight. I don't know how they've done it, whether it's the mesh around the top or something like that. It's lovely, thin material, which is my favorite favorite kind of gym shirt because if you're like me and you get really hot and really sweaty in the gym this is actually one of Gymshark's dry range which means that they've got this technology I don't know the science behind it but there's some technology which helps keep you cool whilst you're wearing the t-shirt and so once you're training in the gym you won't get those sweat patches and you won't feel too hot and it won't distract you from your workout so next up guys I'll just take you through the design of the t-shirt as you can see it's very simplistic now this is the same with every single shirt guys but as you can see on this shirt in particular they have the Gymshark their signature gym shark logo in the upper left chest and then that colour matches exactly with the mesh that goes along the back of your neck. The thing that's really cool about this t-shirt in particular though guys when you compare it to different ones like the Apollo t-shirt and the Seamless is that the Gymshark logo is actually raised up it's a kind of rubbery type feel rather than it being flush with the t-shirt like it is in every other t-shirt that you see. This is actually a nice rubbery texturized kind of feel and we'll have to see how maybe I'll do an updated review as to whether that starts to peel off in the wash or something like that but you have to wash these items on cold anyway purely because of the materials they're made of so they don't get ruined so do bear that in mind they do let you know that on the website and in the on the tag and everything like that but people do still make the same mistakes so I just thought I'd let you guys know in terms of the fit of this t-shirt it's very form-fitted around the shoulders around the arms and it's not that tight on the gut like some of their shirts can be and the thing I probably like the most about this t-shirt in particular is that when we compare it to the Apollo t-shirt, the Seamless t-shirt, every other thing that they've done, it's so much lighter. I don't know how they've done it, but the shirt just feels nice and thin, nice and light, and feels so soft on your skin, it just feels really nice to wear. Now the last thing to talk about with the design is the blue strip along the back. This is obviously colour coordinated depending on which t-shirt you do get, but on this one it's black against blue. Now this is a slightly different material, this is the dry technology I was talking about. It's 92% polyester and 8% elastine instead of 90% and 10%. That just means that it's slightly less stretchy, but in no means is it stiff in the slightest and that right there is one of the key parts which helps Gymshark sell this as one of their dry technology t-shirts. If you have a look on the website which I'll link below, search in the dry section, the transcendent t-shirts and the transcendent shorts will be there for you guys. And so with that said, let's move on to the shorts. Now bear in mind that I have a 32 inch waist guys and that as I've said before I have fairly short legs and then a longer upper body so regardless of whether it's jeans, whether it's shorts, joggers, anything like that, I tend to go for a smaller size in the shorts shorts, jeans or anything like that. So for that reason I knew I'd be okay on the waist because they have an adjustable waistband as you guys can see here but they've done some other dry shorts called the Element Range and they are a lot longer kind of basketball court sort of size and with my short legs I don't really suit those kind of things. You have to have you know a basketballer's kind of look and a five foot seven guy more often than not does not play basketball. And again the material of these shorts guys is exactly the same. The most part of the shorts is 90% polyester, 10% elastine, but then the mesh which goes around the back, around your backside, is 92% polyester and 8% elastine. Exactly the same as a t-shirt. And as I said before guys, if you've seen my other reviews, the colours match exactly, so you don't have to worry about colour coordinating that outfit. Gymshark have already done it for you. So remember as I said guys, I'm 5'7 and I have relatively short legs, and these come up to just a 
above my knee. Bear in mind, if I got the medium, remember these are a small, then they would have come slightly further down, which probably would have bugged me a little bit because I just prefer shorter shorts. Just feels much better, makes me feel like I have a better range of motion. It's all in my head, it's not, it's just, it's just personal preference. As I say in every single review, it's just personal preference. Now moving on to the design of the shorts, guys. The Gymshark logo, again, is raised and has that rubbery type feel on the left leg, so it matches the top, and you just get that nice symmetrical feel, which completes the outfit, in my opinion. Other than that, there is a hem at the bottom where it's actually stitched, whereas if we compare this to the Gymshark Arc shorts, then they actually have a kind of frayed bottom. If you haven't seen my Gymshark Arc range review, then I'll link that in the description box for you guys as well. I've got plenty of other reviews for you guys to check out as well, so don't you worry about that, guys. I've got you covered. Also, similar to the shirt, these are much more lightweight and much thinner than they are than other products. As I mentioned with the Gymshark Art range, that tends to be a bit thicker and a bit more fitted, whereas this tends to be a bit lighter and slightly loose around the gut, but still nice and form-fitted around the shoulders. So the only thing left to talk about is the price, guys. The shorts, for me, cost £25, but actually I got them in sale, so they were £18, and the t-shirt cost £20, which was down to £16. So in total, not a bad deal, guys, if you ask me. You just have to watch out for those Black Friday deals, those January sales, and actually cash in on those good deals that Gymshark do offer you. And so that is going to conclude today's video, guys. Hopefully this helps you out a little bit. If it did, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe for loads more good content. Now I'm back at university as well. Stay tuned for loads more good content. I don't just do reviews. I do motivational videos. I do training videos. I do vlogs. I'm a university student, so I just take you through my university life. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, then feel free to check out the rest of my channel and subscribe if you enjoy. And with that said, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. So thanks a lot for watching. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.